Hello. Hello, sorry guys. Uh, actually, there was some problem with the internet, I guess. So we got disconnected. Like we are left out with just a, like a few topic of double human tube and other. Uh, like uh, we'll proceed further towards this topic of double human tube. Okay. So guys, are you able to hear me? Uh, I can't see your comments. Hello. Guys, we were discussing about double lumen tube, right? In the double lumen tube, I told you double lumen tubes are these are the tubes which are used for what? These are the tubes which are used for what? These are the tubes which are used for surgeries that are requiring what? Surgeries requiring one lung ventilation. One lung ventilation. For lung decortication or lung cancer surgeries, we can use this tube called as double lumen tube. Double lumen tube. Right? Apart from double lumen tube, in your notes, there is one more tube. There is one more tube. There is one more tube which is called as Raised tube, raised tube, right? Raised tube. This tube on your screen is called as RAE tube. Raised tube, ring a dire elven tube. Ring a dire elven tube, right? So this is called as raised tube or ring a dire elven tube. These are called as a nasotracheal tube. Nasotracheal tubes, nasotracheal tube. These are usually used for surgeries of the oral cavity. The surgeries of oral cavity such as cleft lip, cleft palate surgery or any oral cavity surgery, you can go for this tube called as raised tube. Indication of this tube is what? For surgeries of oral cavity, oral cavity surgeries. It could be cleft lip surgery, cleft palate surgery cleft palate surgery or any surgery. You can go for this tube called as raised tube, ring adire elven tube. These are called as a nasotracheal tube. Double lumen tube is used for surgeries requiring one lung ventilation. One lung ventilation. One lung ventilation. Okay. Last is regarding this Embla cream. Embla, right? Embla is what guys? Embla is equal mixture of local anesthetic. Equal mixture of local anesthetic. Why is this Embla applied? Embla is the cream that is usually applied for children. Children who are having needle phobia, you usually apply this Embla cream which is a mixture of local anesthetic. What two local anesthetics I am talking about? The two local anesthetics that are used in Embla is lignocaine plus Prilocaine, lignocaine plus prilocaine, right? But EMLA is contraindicated in neonates. This EMLA should never be given in neonates. Why it is contraindicated in neonates? Why? Because prilocaine causes methemoglobinemia. Prilocaine, sorry, prilocaine causes meth. Hemoglobinemia, meth hemoglobinemia. Okay, this is regarding what guys? This is regarding the EMLA. EMLA is equal mixture or eutectic mixture of local anesthetic. So we have discussed about the double lumen tube, other tubes. These are the miscellaneous topics, guys. In the anesthesia, these are the miscellaneous topics. The last topic is regarding the opioids. In the opioids, all opioids can be used, right, in anesthesia, right. The shortest acting opioid is remifentanil. Remifentanil is regarded as the shortest acting opioid. Apart from that, fentanyl is usually having a side effect that it produces chest wall rigidity. Now, guys, remember this remifentanil is an opioid that is contraindicated in spinal anesthesia. It's contraindicated in spinal anesthesia. Why? Because it's having Neurotoxic preservative, neurotoxic preservative, right? 
Fendral, when you give to the patient, patient can land up into chest wall rigidity or wooden chest syndrome. That's a side effect of fentanyl opioid. Okay. So, anyways, we are we were discussing about these things on anesthesia. Not able to see your chat box. Just a second. That. Just a second, guys. Just. Right, right, right. Okay. Capnograph. Capnograph. So, guys, uh, regarding capnograph and all, capnograph, I told you, capnograph usually measures the end tidal carbon dioxide. It measures the end tidal carbon dioxide or exhaled carbon dioxide. Right? If you get a normal capnograph reading, it will be, the values will be ranging between 35 to 45 mm of Hg. 35 to 45 mm of Hg. But if you see a flat line in capnograph, flat line in capnograph, you see in what cases? You see in the case of esophageal intubation or cardiac arrest. In the case of cardiac arrest. Okay. Right. Reforce for capnograph. Okay. Okay, guys. So these were the things in anesthesia topic. Hope it was helpful. Guys, are you able to hear? Yeah. Okay. Right. Focus on these points of on capnograph or uh, focus on these points. Okay. Right. Right. Induction agents and all. Just remember which is the best friend, which is the enemy. Right. In detail about capnograph. Capnograph, it's a it's a major topic. But I can just tell you, but capnograph is the device that usually measures exhaled carbon dioxide that is usually used to confirm whether you are you have intubated the patient properly or not. Right. In capnograph, they you will be getting many graphs. The graphs that I told you is a flat graph and a normal graph. Apart from that, you will get a High capnograph value also. High capnograph value is normally seen when the patient suffers from malignant hyperthermia or when there is when you are using exhausted soda line. Okay. Any other thing? Sorry for the disconnection in between. MCQ discussion, MCQ discussion, okay, regarding the MCQ discussions, actually these points which I had told you, these are all MCQ points only, MCQ discussion session, I think we can have it uh, when uh, we are having some test and discussion. Okay, so finally, when is the exam date? When is your exam? It got postponed? December 4th. So some of you were telling 20 something. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. Okay. So, these were the important topics, guys. These were the important topics in anesthesia. Hope you guys uh, got the session. Okay. Okay. So, we'll wind up the session, guys. Thank you for your patience.